Hey guys, welcome out to uh, my workshop today. Uh, I had this saw sitting over here on my bench. This one right here is a uh, nice older rip saw. It's got split nuts on the back. I think it's uh, six teeth per inch, I think. And uh, I was gonna do a restoration video on this and it's kind of been sitting here. I mean, I have lots of stuff that I need to restore and get back into shape. Some split nuts, some older, some not older, just uh, depends on what I have. Um, but it was, uh, I, I scour eBay and stuff all the time and look for deals, different things like that. And there was one that intrigued me. And usually handsaw lots go for, I don't know, like $100 or something like that. And this one was just labeled as junk handsaws. And... I decided to go ahead and throw a bit at it and uh, I think the total thing cost me $30 for all the saws and uh, so I wanted to bring you guys along instead of doing the restoration on this other handsaw which uh, if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments down below I'll probably be doing that one uh, within like the next week or so and uh, I wanted to open up this box of handsaws and see exactly what I ended up getting, seeing if there were any goodies involved or whatnot. Here is uh, the box. I can't even remember how many hand saws were um, involved in this deal, but uh, I know there was at least five. Well, at least I got new packaging. Seems like there's a lot of that paper in here. And I got a lot of boxes. I'm starting to do a lot more buying and selling of hand tools. So that's why I went ahead and purchased this lot. There's definitely more than five saws in here. Nice little baby saw. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, so we have this little baby saw. Handle is cracked, somewhat rusty. Other than that, it's not in uh, bad condition. What does the medallion say? Warranted superior. It's missing one saw nut. So I don't see any missing teeth on there. So that's not a bad one. I uh, would need a new handle for sure. Then we have this one right here. Well, that's a. This is something about Germany on it. Well, it's kind of heavily rusted. Handles in good condition. All the saw nuts. No missing teeth. That's not going to be a bad one to fix up. Scrape it off, sand it. That would make a uh, pretty decent saw probably. Got this one right here. This is the one that intrigued me. I can see somebody's already tried to find an etch on it. Looks like it's been rubbed around a little bit. The... Medallion says warranted superior on it. I really like this handle. This is one of the main ones that I saw because of the handle on there. And it's got a lot of life left still on there. 10 teeth per inch. So that one will be a uh, good user. Get it cleaned up. Let's see what else we got here. We got this one is a Sears handsaw. This is Craftsman on it. This looks kind of ugly. I don't like even the uh, look of this one, but uh, it came with everything. Let's see about this. What is this one? I think this is another warranted superior. No missing teeth again. Plenty of life left. Handle's a little bit beat up, but it's not bad. This one is a very clean hand, so I bet you this is what that went on right here. 
that's what it looks like it's just been on there the rest of it got rusty i like the color of that handle another craftsman be nice if that was like a skew back kind of deal instead of just that straight right off the top and it looks like it's been used quite a bit unless that's just how the craftsman came with the blades so short compared to the handle here is another craftsman i don't know why there's so many craftsmen in here i've never had this many in one lot look at this something unique about this one is it's got the starter side on there with the little teeth and i believe you use that to start your cut and then you can transition into putting the blade into it another craftsman i don't think i'd have bought this one if there was so many craftsmen in here this one has the teeth on the top as well i've never seen that before so that's kind of weird kind of unique this one looks more like a uh no this is gonna be a cross cut saw maybe i can't tell I don't know, maybe it's a rip saw. I can't tell right away. If it's a rip saw, it's got a little teeth for a rip saw. The money makers right here, a distin. Uh, this is a common distin. It's probably like a D23 or something like that. It's got pretty heavy rust on there. Uh, it doesn't look like it's missing any teeth. So this one could probably resell for $10, $15 uh, once it's all cleaned up. Let's see what this last one is. It looks like Warranted Superior. It's got the eagle on it. This one looks more like a ripish saw. But it's got a nice little skew back on there. I like that design where it uh, comes off the handle and it curves down a little bit to the tip. The one nice thing about all of these is that they seem like they have a fair amount of life left in... Uh, in their, in their saws so like sometimes at like antique shops and so you guys see the saw blades like already up in here so lots of craftsmen in this one I really like this one I like that handle design but this one's intriguing too this little itty bitty one might be able to put that one in some like evapor rust and let it uh, clean up its blade. None of them seem like they have a. Uh, oh, this one's got a little bit of a bend on the end of it. So all in all, not a uh, bad score. This one I may be keeping just because it. I like that handle, even though it's just a warranted superior one. And uh, I don't think there was any other one that I, maybe that I'll probably keep the small one. Uh, I don't think there was any other ones that really intrigued me into keeping. The electrical tape one is kind of odd. And those Craftsman were different, but I don't, I don't really uh, want a Craftsman saw. So what I'll probably do now is I'll probably take them, uh, clean them up with uh, some sandpaper, get them to where they're uh, user able, and then probably resell them for about $10 a piece. Uh, how many saws do I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's about eight saws. So it'd be about $80 maybe if I can get that. Uh, Craftsmen is probably don't sell that high, but, uh, and they're not a collector's item. So we'll have to see. Probably put them up on the Facebook marketplace after we get them all cleaned up.
So all, I've done, all I'm doing right now is uh, rubbing down the blade with some uh, paste wax just to kind of help protect it from ever rusting and also make it slide through the wood easier. I mean, that's that's it. I mean, look at how good that, that blade turned out just from a little cleanup job. I spent maybe 10 minutes doing this and then we can pop the uh, handle on. We gotta clean that up a little bit. It looks dirty. Probably hit it up with some uh, sandpaper. Maybe not, I don't know yet. All right, so we got this one piece of oak and uh, we're just gonna see. That is a good saw right there. That cut in like hardly any strokes. Left a good, nice cut. This one's ready just to use it as is. And it's got that, uh, the one thing that it also has is this little part right here. And I believe the way you do it is by making your mark like this. Like you're scoring the line. Then when you flip it over, you've got your mark already right there. And that's that. I, I really like that. Especially with the scoring blade on the very tip of it. Now we gotta go ahead and get the rest of all these finished up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that little one and also the one to the far left just because I like that handle. All the others are gonna go ahead and get cleaned up real quick um, and then put back out on the market. Hopefully none of them really need anything. The electrical tape one, I think I'm gonna charge extra for that just because of the electrical tape. All right guys, so uh, just to show you guys what this can actually turn out to be. You guys saw me completely do one of the saws and just after about two hours I have uh, six of these saws completely done. This one is still missing its saw nuts. I have its nuts sitting in some evaporust. Um, this one right here has a little bit of an etch on it but uh, you can't really see it unless it's shining in some light. There's a little bit of pitting on here. I haven't sharpened any of these, but I have tested them all on the different wood, and uh, they all cut pretty much just fine. Uh, this top one would need to get sharpened if uh, we chose to make it a user. But look at those. These came as junk saws, and after about 20 or so minutes of working with them, they're good saws again. I mean, they really are. They can be put back into use. Um, this saw, uh, I just threw a coat of shellac on there. I didn't want to sand any because I didn't want to take off that print. This one has a coat of shellac. This one has shellac on there as well. I think this one does also. Those two I just left as is. So, I mean, it's, it's not bad. And this is that one saw that I was saying I was going to keep. I'm probably going to go ahead and get that sold. Now I still have these four saws to uh, kind of clean up. Uh, this saw with the electrical tape, its handle is completely falling apart. So I don't know how much work I'm going to put into that. But it does have that really cool blade with the, uh, with the saw on the very top. Uh, this one I'm gonna probably keep just because the boys could probably use it and it probably needs a new handle as well This one uh, I tried to get the saw nuts off already and they wouldn't come loose So I gotta work on that And then this one pretty much just needs the rust removed from it. I used it on some wood and it cut just fine So uh, just like that. I mean just showing you guys what a little bit of work on these saws could do 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up button. If you guys uh, are new, welcome. Hit that subscribe button as always. Thank you for viewing the video today. Questions, comments down below. We'll see you guys on the next video.